often we want to search for files. That is, somewhere on my hard drive there's a file that I'm looking for. I know the name or the, 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 the structure of the name. There are different ways to locate files. One is using locate. Locate followed by a file name. Maybe Wireshark. I know there should be some files about Wireshark. Wireshark is installed. Locate may tell me about those. And it tells me all the files that have the name Wireshark in it. And you, you can scroll up and down, I will not. But it returns a, a whole set of files, the complete path. The subdirectory and the file name that refers to Wireshark. So locate. Okay, if there's no file, then it will return nothing there. Locate. I had X, what? ITS352. Locate XYZ dot doc. This is interesting. I have a directory called ITS352 and I, inside that I have a file called xyz.doc. If I try to locate xyz.doc, it doesn't return an answer. Locate is a very, uh, well, locate uses a database of files to find the answer. It's very fast to find the answer, but the way that it works is that Oh, maybe the past hour or so, the operating system has done a search for all the files and put them in a database. But it's not up to date. Recently I've created xyz.doc. If I try to locate it, it's not currently in the database. So locate cannot find that. So locate is very quick, but doesn't cover all the files. So a more powerful command to find files is using find. It's more powerful, but slightly more complex. Find, the pattern we'll use, find, specify the directory we want to search in, and then the option dash name, because we want to find based upon the name, star dot doc. So there's three arguments to this find command. The directory I want to search in, including the subdirectories. Then I say I want to search based upon the file name because actually you can search on other criteria, file size, creation date, permissions. And I want to find anything that ends with a dot doc. And that finds xyz dot doc. So it, it does an actual search. If I want to search for my current directory, it's good practice to include the double quotes, uh, especially when you use a wildcard there, the star character. Find searching through my current directory files with name that end with .pdf. And it shows me all the PDF files. What if I want to find all the PDF files on the hard disk? Find slash dash name star dot PDF. That is search from the root directory and end including all subdirectories. And you say it may see many results. You may also see some errors, permission denied errors. So it search through the entire hard disk returns all the PDFs, but some directories the student user is not allowed to access to, to do the search through. So you'll often see permission denied in there, but you, many results. We can locate files, although it doesn't get the most recent files. More powerfully, we can find files using the command find. The last way that we commonly use to search for files is to search for application files or executables. Before we searched for Wireshark and it returned many directories. Files related to Wireshark. But I want to find where is the application Wireshark. 
So there must be a program, an executable on my computer that is Wireshark. We can use which. It's in slash user slash bin. LS is also an application. It's in slash bin. Nano is an application. So these are the executables, the things that are executed when we type the command. It's in slash user slash bin. Bin is short for binary and it's usually, it really means the application, the program, the executable. Which searches for programs, locate and find, search for any type of files. 